So I'm not really sure what this video's been this far. I think we started off in Chattanooga, then we're in Florida. Now we're here in Pottstown, and tonight I'm sleeping in a rooftop tent on top of a golf country, and that's just super cool. Look at this thing. Like, this is so cool. Not bad, not a bad little uh, little view from the rooftop here. All right, we are set up and ready to go. GTI pillow, all right for this. Alexa, first lights out. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in the morning, maybe. All right, well, I guess I can check off sleep in a tent above golf country. That was cool. Now, I don't know the plan for today exactly or what I'm even gonna film, but that was cool. There's just so many cars in here. Actually nuts. Eric, yo, we're still pushing this thing. Again. One. <laughs> okay. Wow, oh, the good old T4. <laughs> Sure. It would be much easier. Yeah. Done. There she is. Perfect. That pretty straight? That's, That's good. As straight as it's going to get. She's good. <laughs> All right, quick detour, currently at Wind Volkswagen, somewhere here, like east of Potsdam, I believe, but look what's in the showroom. This beast, just chilling in here. What kind of goodies does parts have for us? That's not cool. Ooh, I like this one. That's a cool, 
cool shirt. I like that. All right, and here is what we're picking up. Jamie's Mark 7 SEMA Concept Jetta. They brought, I think, 2019 might have been, maybe earlier than that. But a bunch of cool, like, 3D printed stuff. This thing, I think it's 1.4 turbo, but it's very, very loud. Baller seats. Cool car. Definitely a cool car. They had to do some work to it, but I think it's all good now. And I'm going to drive it back to the shop. And we'll get you guys a nice little cold start here. See how she sounds. BFI shift knob. Alright, that's what we got here. show a little bit but now we'll do some highway driving see how it is oh it's a little bit loud maybe it'll quiet down don't like this all right oh yeah this thing is a little bit loud <laughs> all right quick pause to get a photo in front of the dealership Definitely a good looking car. Alright, she's been island for a minute. Much, much quieter now. It's warmed up a little bit, but as soon as you hit the gas, it gets a, uh, it gets a lot fast. But overall, this is a good looking car. I like the Mark 7 Jettas and I love all the bits they did on this one. Big old brakes. Nice wheels from work. Yeah, overall, clean, simple. I like it. Now, we shall drive it home. Also, this car has been to Orleans. Very, very cool. And again, I cannot stress enough how amazing these seats are. These things are beautiful. They fit you super nice. Yeah, fan of these. Okay, it's currently like 4.30 or it's like 5 o'clock. 5.30 on Thursday, I go back to Florida tonight. This video has been a mess. I haven't been in the mood to record, but at the same time, I love making videos. So I wanna film, but it is what it is. I think Brandon's stopping by in his 1.8T swap cabrio if he's driving that car. So I'll show that a little bit. And then I think I'm riding with Derek in his R32 to the airport, or maybe Jamie's taking me in the Tureg. I'm not quite sure, but Few more things to do while we're here. I didn't tell I was here. We we're doing some low show prep, some planning, uh, helping clean the shop a little bit, working on some cars. A few things I had to do here and then back to Florida. And then I don't know. I don't know when this video is gonna go up because there's no internet at the house in Florida currently. And I might be watching Greg's house for like a week. So I'll be over there. I don't know. This video has been a mess. I've been wanting to record, but also not wanting to record. Again, it is what it is. So this video will go up as soon as i have internet and it's going to be a lot of just random clips but i still want to film it because it's been fun and yeah i guess i guess all that so hopefully soon brandon will be here 
show his car a little bit, maybe do a ride along if I have time, and then we'll be going to the airport soon. Also to say, getting to drive the SEMA Mark 7 Jetta was awesome. This thing I found out is on KW Club Sports, so this car rides absolutely amazing. The brakes are gnarly, and again, their car seats are so comfy, they hug you so well. I wish they weren't like 3,000 a seat. I would love to have some in one of my cars, but overall, this car was a blast to drive. I think I showed this before, but if not, this is Derek's Tornado Red R32. It's on air. I just love these cars in the red. Yeah, Tornado Red on the Mark 4 R32, great car combo. Also, gotta say, even though it's cold up here, I gotta say, PA, quite beautiful this time of year. All the leaves changing. It's not bad. Ooh, it's here. I'm so excited, man. So, Brandon showed up. I'll get a quick little ride in this thing. Oh, such a cool car. Look at this thing. A quick little overview, 1.8T swapped. Oh, oh, oh. Give me a quick 30 second overview of what you got. It's a built 1.8T. Yeah. Uh, 3076R. Makes right around 500 wheel. Cool. Uh, weighs 2,100 pounds with me in it. Uh, it's a handful. I don't, I don't, yeah. it's pretty much fully built. The only thing that's stock internally on the engine is the pistons. That's um, nice. As far as you can go with a, a stock piston 180, basically. I love it. I've been wanting to ride in this car since low show and now we're back and we have just enough time to do it. Ooh, and the underglow too.
It's all up it. The best is when you brake boost it.
start getting on the throttle a little bit. <laughs> we can tell the cop turn, we're like, nothing to see here. What year is this car again? 88. 88. 88 Cabrio with, what was it originally, an AWP 180? This is an AWP 180. So it started off as a 180 horsepower Mark IV 180, and now it's a 500 horsepower. God, this thing is ridiculous. The turbo is still spinning. Oh, I hear it, yeah. Oh, you can see it kind of in there spinning. The coolest thing that when I first saw this car, before I even met you, I was like, where does this go? And I was like, nothing, you don't see anything, it's so confusing, and you realize it goes through, under, in the rain tray, and you can see it come right here, come back down, and the ball's right here in the corner, like your wastegate. Such a interesting setup, I love it, and it works, and it, everyone who walks up and sees it, they're like, 
where's it go? Uh, it's 100%. so confusing. Everyone looks inside the car. That's why I didn't, we all stood for like five minutes, like, I was like, where does it go this way? Does it go that way? I was like, where does this thing go? This thing's nuts. And how is it with like, the overheating issues, any running issues, or just like, it's solid? Uh, I think the hottest we just got, just doing all those, were like yeah. 175. Oh wow, that's nothing. No, no. That's it, like normal running yeah, time, that's exactly. nothing. It's very hard to get heat in the car. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's got a 170 degree thermostat. Yeah. Um, the Rad is uh, Acura Integra, tucked nice. Rad, um, that I use just because. Uh, hey, whatever Trying works. to get more flow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it, it doesn't overheat. It doesn't, I do track days with it, no problem. On the hottest day, maybe 190, which is yeah, normal is still, for Volkswagen. nothing so, still. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, dude, this car's awesome. I'm very glad you stopped by. Glad I got to ride this thing, experience a bit more. So many people ask after the first video, like, just so you pass by, people are like, we want to know more about this car. So, <laughs> there you go. Full wood brakes, work wheels. So, there it is. Instagram will be down below. All the specs of the car, that kind of stuff. Yeah, this thing's nuts. Again, I don't know if camera will do it justice, but this thing is gnarly to ride in. Gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. I love the 180, you know, but like, the VR, we love the VRs right here. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, All right, well, it is currently 10 o'clock. I should be landing in Orlando in about an hour or so. Uh, for some reason, when I checked in this morning for Frontier, the check-in or my reservation didn't go through, so they like essentially canceled my flight on their end. And even though I was here an hour before the flight actually left, they refused to pay a boarding pass. They said there's nothing we can do. Your flight's essentially canceled. And they said they could put me on a flight on Saturday, but I had to pay a $99 rebooking fee. Even though, and she told me their system messes up sometimes. So I'm like, you just told me your system messes up sometimes. And I did my check-in hours prior and then it just messed up and now I gotta pay $99. But we found a flight tomorrow, just booking a whole new flight for $94. So cheaper to buy a whole new flight then to rebook. So, Derek going back. Thank you so much, Derek. You guys are so much appreciated. We're going back to Jamie's, and then tomorrow we'll try again because tomorrow night I have a reunion, like a high school reunion, that I want to make it back for, so I can't go home Saturday. <sighs> it's been these past few months, man, have been brutal. But we're hanging in there. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this video here. This has probably been the most random filled video I've ever made that I didn't wanna make, but I also love making videos, so I kind of filmed little bits here and there. Um, I think the video started in Chattanooga, then we finished off in Florida, then to PA for a little bit, back to Florida after that whole nightmare of missing my flyer, being canceled for my flight, but we made it. Uh, I actually just went to my 10 year high school reunion with Larry. Honestly, I had a great time. It's crazy. We've been out of high school for 10 years. Time flies, which is why I say be thankful for every single day because, like, it goes by so, so fast. Um, yeah, I think I had things I wanted to kind of say in this video, but I'm just not. It is what it is. Uh, I'm going to end this one here. I think, like I said, I'm house-sitting for Greg this coming up week, possibly. I don't know. Lots of things I need to do. Suspension on the Mark II. Uh, I have a rad support for the Mark II at Jamie's. I have a grill at Jamie's. I need to get shipped down to me. And then, yeah, I don't know. This video has been literally all over the place. It's been a mess. I apologize for the absence. 
Um, yeah, just been a lot going on. So I appreciate the patience. I will be trying to get back on a more regular schedule again. Um, but like I said, a lot was going on and I just didn't have time or the motivation to film anything. So I do apologize for that. But gonna end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.